Lacerate. Eject. Operation. Channel intro. Hello fellow YouTubers, like me, WC Stop Motion are here. Welcome to viewers new and old. And today I have Transformers Studio Series 85 Bumblebee Movie RC. Between her and Ironhide, I was looking forward to her more. I mean, I was looking forward to Ironhide, but this is an original mold. So I was a little bit more excited about that one. And I do like this design in the movie. So for the packaging, robot mode, windowless box, there is, there she is on the side, excuse me. Robot mode and vehicle mode. Transforms at 23 steps. It says RC loses contact with the capital as the Autobots are overwhelmed by Decepticon forces. Backdrop included. And this pretty much rounds out my Bumblebee, Bumblebee movie Autobots, I think. Unless they decide to make like a couple generics. And it rounds out most of the collection also. I still need to get Thundercracker. I'm not sure how many more Seekers they're going to do, but... I'm excited that I finally have like all the characters in that opening scene I'm waiting for that for years because I was so excited when I first saw that in theaters all right let's see here oh now it gave me a heart attack there for a second the gun was loose in the box <sighs> okay thankfully it looks like everything is there so, let's get into it. Okay, so here's RC in her vehicle mode, and I really like how it looks. It looks really cool. It's kind of a Cybertronian motorcycle type thingy, and it's really nice. Got pretty good coloration, got some pink and white here. Really biggest complaint is that these front the front wheel here does not like to stay tabbed together. I don't know if that's just an issue on my copy or if I'm doing something wrong. You can kind of see the hands on the back here, but it doesn't really bother me as much in hand. Otherwise, though, I think it looks really nice. Rolls way better than I would expect it to. I like the blue windshield right here, which I mean, you can pull up, I guess, if you want to. Got two wheels on the back here. And you can see her chest and the Autobot symbol there, but I don't really mind. I think it I think it works pretty well. So, really nice vehicle mode. And here she is with all the other Bumblebee movie Autobots, and this just makes me so happy. Finally, after... I mean, a few years. It's just felt like it's been a long time. We finally have all the Bumblebee movie Autobots here in vehicle mode in Studio Series 4, and it makes me really happy to see this. You know, yes, Optus doesn't quite blend in because it's an Earth vehicle, but I'm, I'm fine with that. So, this just looks really cool. And then here she is with the animated RC. I would compare her with Earthrise RC, but I just do not feel like transforming that figure right now. So I just thought this would be kind of a cool comparison to do. So I think that pretty much covers the vehicle mode. I think it looks really nice. It rolls a lot better than I thought it would. And I do think the sculpt is really nice. So with that, I think we can move on to the transformation. All right, so to transform her, first just gonna remove these guns and fold her hands out and just go ahead and come right here and untab these and just kind of get them out of the way come right here hold this down rotate at the waist 
disconnect the wheel if it didn't come disconnected already. And just come right here, fold the head out. And just go ahead and collapse this whole section. And make sure the head's right there lined up. Just collapse it, fold this up. We'll take this, these sections and fold them back. And come right here. And then just fold this back a little bit. It's a little weird how this works, but you're just supposed to fold this back a little bit. And come right here, fold this out, and pull this section out. And you just rotate it. And there's this tab right here that's going to go in right here. Just push it in. And then make sure there's this little indented section right here on the wheel. You just want to make sure that lines up with this right here. You can just go ahead and fold that down like that. Do the same thing on this side. Like that. And just straighten the arms out. And there you have RC in her robot mode. And looking at the robot mode, it's really good. I do feel the face maybe a tad bit over detailed. I don't know. I just might be remembering it wrong, but I just felt like it looked a little bit more smooth in the movie. But I still think it's nice. I do really like the helmet design. As it is, this is just a cool design in the movie. I prefer this over the kind of weird unicycle from Revenge of the Fallen. Bad Kibble honestly isn't too bad for an RC figure, because she generally has really bad kibble, but it doesn't look too bad here. Once again, I think the paintwork is nice. Sculpt is really good. And you can give her these guns. She can hold them in her hand, or you can tab them onto the back here, which I think is cool. I like it when they have that kind of feature. I mean, she's, I'm going to be displaying her like this, but... Still, it looks cool. And here's all the main Autobots we saw from that opening scene from the Bumblebee movie in robot mode. And this looks so cool. I guess I still prefer Offward Bumblebee without a doubt, but just for the sake of cohesiveness, I went with B127. And I don't know why, but I just find this guy to be way more of a pain to transform than Cliff Jumper. I don't know why, maybe that's just me, but as I said, they all look really great together. Makes me very happy, and that's pretty much all they have to do, again, unless they decide to release some, just some kind of generic Autobots, because there were a couple that we saw, we didn't really know who they were, we just got a quick glimpse of them. I don't know if they'll make figures of them, but we'll just have to wait and see. And here she is with the animated RC, obviously animated RC is taller, but I'm not really surprised by that. Now for the articulation. Head. Okay, come on, focus. Head is on a ball joint. Get some upward movement, some downward movement, side to side. She can look right and left. Shoulders. Like with a lot of figures, they can do a full 360, but they're going to collide with the back kibble. Go out about that far. You get a bicep rotation. Now, this is really nice. You get a double jointed elbow. That's always really nice when they can do that. Oh, going to tab a little bit. And you get some inward movement on the hands because of the transformation. Waist rotation. Legs can kick forward that far and back that far. Out to the side. You get a thigh swivel. You get a knee bend. And you get ankle tilt. So articulation, I don't really have any complaints about it. I think it's all there. You can definitely pull off some really good poses with her. Pretty easily. So, overall, I think that pretty much covers this figure. So I'll go ahead and stick her on the display. 
Okay, so there's RC with my Bumblebee movie display, which, as I said in the Ironhide review, I really just need to get Thundercracker and any other Seekers they do, and that's pretty much it for this collection. So in terms of if I recommend this figure, of course I do. I think she's really good. I really can't find a whole lot to complain about with her, other than maybe the face being feeling a little bit over-detailed. But that's just me. I don't know. For me, it just looks a little bit off, but I might just be looking at it wrong. But I think the vehicle mode is really nice. Transformation has a lot going on. It's really fun. And robot mode looks great with all the detailing and articulation. I really can't find that much to complain about with this figure. I think it's a really good one. And I definitely think you should get it if you can find it. But that's what I think of the figure. As always, please be sure to comment below what you think of the figure. And if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.